What's going on guys? So I stopped over at our 45 North location today just to go over our website to see if there's anything that maybe I've missed. And I don't know how they were able to sneak this huge thing in on me without me seeing it, but I failed to get this one on the website, but I'm excited to show this one to you. This is the new 2024 Forest River Wildwood Grand Lodge, model number 42 DL. And of course, if you can't tell by now, the DL is going to be standing for Double Loft. If you're new here, I welcome you to the channel and let's get started. So these things are designed to be put in place and left permanently, if not forever. Maybe moving them once or twice, not that often because they're extremely long, extremely tall at almost 13 feet, four inches to the highest point, 102 inches wide. And let's look at some of the numbers before we get too much into the vehicle. So gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds. I'll be sure to leave the hitch weight about here. Dry weight as it currently sits without any of your stuff or the propane tanks being filled or of course the battery is going to be 13,463 pounds and it is 41 feet 10 inches total length. That's from tip to tip. You are riding on 7,000 pound axles, 16 inch rims with F rated tires and of course the tires coming from the factory are never that really great. But again these things are designed to set it and forget it. We're gonna be kind of brief, so let's make our way around and go inside. Small piece of America for you, maybe you guys can see that. That's an observation attack helicopter. Air assault. Let's make our way inside though. We're gonna be kind of brief. It's pretty loud out there, but that's okay. That's just a small piece of America for you, by the way. Let's get you inside, get you turned around. But I figured we start right here between the kitchen and the living room. And then we'll make our way towards the front, going over the bedroom, eventually going upstairs and getting your opinion on what possibly could be maybe a second or a third bedroom. Look at the view though. It's absolutely beautiful in here. The really tall ceilings make it feel more like home. The camper is also going to be 102 inches wide, so it gives it an appearance like it's a lot bigger than it actually is. This thing's beautiful though. Stainless steel appliances, very nice. This is an LG fridge right at 20 cubic feet. Your countertops are solid surface also. Check out the different accent lights throughout. Those are very nice also. Again, stainless steel appliances, insignia oven. Each one of your burners on the top produce a different BTU of heat. Your oven is very decent in size, adjustable by possibly three, maybe even four shelves. Here's my hand for size. Some of your pullouts. Your cabinet doors, as well as your pullouts, are solid wood, and you have soft closed latches throughout the kitchen hardware. The kitchen backsplash, I feel like, is one. I talk about it a lot. It's a very simple upgrade. I feel like they should do with maybe changing that plastic substance to maybe a white subway tile. And there's your microwave. Pretty good kitchen, though. I feel like maybe adding additional leaflet possibly about here would be very nice. Something that could be added or maybe giving you a little bit of additional room for a dishwasher. That could be another very, very nice touch. This is what I call a coffee prep station. Good room for another maybe like a crock pot, a Keurig, an air fryer. I, was about, I couldn't think of what the heck I was about to say with an air fryer. All the controls are, controls are right here as well. Slide operation, tank monitoring station, plus the dimmer switch for the living room lights. I feel like I've gone over the kitchen area pretty well. Let's look at your entertainment area back here. So if you were taking your seat, this would be your view. If maybe you're watching TV, that looks like it'd be a 50 inch Insignia Smart TV. That's an electric fireplace. These produce about five, maybe 10,000 BTUs of heat, but your main source of heat will be coming from those randomly placed floor vents throughout the floor. You'll see them as we go throughout the video. And I almost forgot to point out your pantry. So what's really cool about the, the slide boxes, these things are over seven feet tall. So example over here, seven feet tall slide. So that gives you a one, the bigger pantry, but two, if maybe you're playing a game of cards at the table and you go to stand up, you're not gonna have to be cautious about hitting your head. All the windows are trimmed out with gray roller shades, except for a few. And I feel like this is probably the biggest downfall 
for this floor plan. It's almost perfect. But those are the gray roller shades. They're all trimmed out except for a couple and that being one up there. So if all these were closed and you're just kind of wanting to blacken out the camper during the day, it's going to be a little bit hard to do. You know, the 42 view and the 44 view have electric shades. So that could be a sweet added touch. That they so your living room furniture on board is Thomas Payne Collection Furniture. The sofa on the back is also a sleeper sofa. I'll try to maybe open that up and give you guys a better idea on what that's going to look like if maybe you happen to have some overflow sleeping needs. But I kind of doubt that considering the size of the loft areas. But notice I closed the shades just to give you guys an idea of how much sun is still going to be finding its way through. These two are going to be your Thomas Payne Collection theater seats. And again, all your windows are trimmed out, except for a few with gray pull downs. So let's go ahead and make our way all the way to the front and go over the bedroom and then we'll look at the bath and then eventually go upstairs. Pretty sweet bedroom. This is a pretty cool setup that they have with this bed. They call it the Versa Tilt. I'm gonna give it a nickname of a bed scruncher because when it's all the way in the up position, it gives you a lot of changing room. That's something that is overlooked a lot. Changing room is kind of important to me, especially since I'm a little bit bigger guy. This is probably gonna take forever. Bear with me. All right, now that we have the bed all the way up, look at that. Just all the additional changing room you get let me turn around just to give you a better view but over three feet of changing room that's something that's overlooked a lot when you're trying to find a really comfortable coach but if you happen to do some upgrades maybe to the mattress just be cautious of how much weight you do put on the mechanism so let's look at this too you know right now you're able to kind of lounge in bed kick your feet up watch some tv but in order to retract the bed back, if maybe you're getting comfortable and you're wanting to go to sleep, you are going to have to come right over here just to lay those controls back flat again. But that's okay. But just be cautious. If you replace the mattress, making sure you're not going to overload the system. Comes standard, of course, with the splendid stackable washer and dryer. A couple of pullouts right over here. In your wardrobe closet. So the way they are able to achieve all this additional headroom upstairs for your guests to sleep is by giving you this 10 inch drop frame construction found right over there. I'm 6'2 and I don't have to wash my head as I'm transitioning from downstairs to up at all. So when it comes to showers, typically taller guys or even bigger guys have a very hard time with finding just that perfect shower for them. This thing's absolutely beautiful. 78 inch ceiling height. It looks like you got maybe about a four inch step up to get into the shower, but that is also a flush mounted shower pan. So you're not really losing any of your ceiling height. Look at the ceiling room you got, possibly right at five inches over my head there. I like the added touch with the solid surface countertops continued over into the bathroom as well as the bedroom. So that's, that's just absolutely beautiful to me. That's a porcelain foot flush toilet. And again, you can order the coach removing the holding tanks. And if you did that, of course, the toilet type will change to more of a residential house type. Now let's make our way upstairs, but before we do, that's gonna be your central vacuum system. This is more of a sweep in style. Just sweep it right in, turn it off. But heading upstairs, where you can have possibly bedrooms one, two, and three. What do you guys think? Let me know down below what you guys think. This, of course, being the biggest loft at over 36 inch ceiling height. Two twin size mattresses on board. That's your air conditioner, one of two. So you have two 15K air conditioners on board. Both of those are racetrack together. So if this one's on, you could possibly feel it blowing all the way in the living room, maybe even downstairs in the master bedroom. TV connections are right over here. This will be your wardrobe closet. I can't open this when the mattress is in the way. There we go. And again, a little separation between the two and you also have usb and 110 outlets right here and both of the windows are in fact breeze windows so you could have quite a nice cross breeze going on let's go over here if this was to be used for a bedroom it would have excuse me a really nice view that is a twin size mattress, but the ceiling height is a little limited right here. 
breeze window to the right, TV connections to the left, right over here. But honestly, if you happen to have a TV on up here, it's probably gonna be too hot. Look at the view. Absolutely beautiful, especially if the blinds were open. If you had a place on like the beach or something, USB port, and of course 110. It's a little tight. All right, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This loft on that side, compared to the loft on that side, it's a little challenging. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I still would crawl up here and hang out with my grandkid if I wanted to, you know, and still enjoy the view. It's kind of a challenge to get from here down at least 24, maybe 30 inches. I'm terrible with measurements. It's not a challenge getting up and down the stairs either, you know, especially with the rail being here. This loft's beautiful though. It's, I mean, I feel like my fully grown kids can use this one with ease. Maybe like my youngest kid with his wife and of course their two grandbabies on this side. I think this is absolutely beautiful, especially this over here. I, I would definitely use it. I could see myself just hanging out with my grandkids on that side. So at date and time of making this video, we are of course gonna go outside and go over a few things there, but we are, I think it's 12 December, 2023. MSRP is $95,498.45. And of course, I'll be sure to leave a link to the company's website down below in the description, showing you their sales price plus more additional photos. So let's step outside and go over a few things here. I was up here taking some photos, trying to keep the website up to date when somehow I discovered they had stuck this one in a hole. And, I, and I'm not sure how exactly I missed it, but these things are beautiful. I'm always excited to see these when they show up. Now, of course, it does require a much larger truck to pull because it is on the heavier side. I do recommend at least a one ton or larger to safely tow it. These things are stabilized from four sets of manual scissor jacks, each attached to the drop frame construction. One here, you'll have, of course, some in the back. You also have tie down straps or attachments attached to the frame. If maybe you were gonna set it and forget it, something to possibly look into adding. You have a friction hinge on the door. Sometimes when these things are set it and forget it, customers will build a patio. So this could be a little different. Patio, of course, could run flat. You have a step up. Then going, of course, to your really big patio door there. 25-foot awning with LED lights. This one's already outfitted with slide toppers also. Coming around to the back. LED lights on the top. This is going to be your stabilizer for the back. Plus the additional tie-down strap. All rack and pinion slides. That's a very good thing. That's probably the best mechanism for a slide component on the RV market right now. Sewer connections, you got quite a few. Let me break this down for you. So this is gray coming from the kitchen. Then you have gray and black. Also, that's your main sewer right up here. If for some reason you were filling your holding tank and you wanted to dump it, that's the dumping valve for your freshwater holding tank. This is the sewer connection for your washer and dryer. Notice there's no pull handle at all on this one. So if you're utilizing that system inside, be sure this is either hooked up or the cap is removed. If not, that water is going to go back inside of your RV. And this is your Ream residential 20 gallon water heater. I actually think this is going to be phased out. I do believe the 44 view now has the 60 gallon on demand water heater. So these possibly might be going away completely. And that's the other set of front stabilizing jacks. The only outside storage compartment. Again, these are not designed for travel, so you're not really gonna have that much outside storage. They're designed again to be set and forget. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see me.